so we will be learning how to run simple programs in Verilog so we go to this tutorial from in reference designer com and which has basically two flavors of tutorials the first one is using a Xilinx ice code uh, compiler the problem with it is it's, it's very long it's it's a very huge file something like six gigabyte and it will take uh, a day or so even with a good network connection so but the good thing is with this with the Xilinx site you get the code that will run in real life that means you can actually port the code and see there is a Spartan 3 a very good uh, board available on which you can port it and see your code in actual condition but we will be following uh, another compiler called Icarus based uh, compiler and which is very small in footprint it's only 12 megabyte so we go on there and use this tutorial use this icarus based uh, tutorial to learn very log now uh, you already know probably about the Verilog it's a hardware description language basically we describe a digital circuit using uh, using a coding language which is similar to C C++ but it's more powerful it's portable from one FPG or one ASIC to another ASIC and it comes with a lot of other advantages instead of designing the digital circuit directly using discrete components but let's first do uh, this thing we install the icarus uh, uh, software tool what we basically do is we click on this link and it will ask us to download this program iverilog-20130827 setup.exe and we save this file and then run it so what it will basically do is it will install the program in a uh, in a directory called iverilog and basically it has there are two important directories one is bin directory which has the iverilog.exe and that's where our main compiler is located so once we have done that what we will do is we will create a simple hello.v file and in that hello.v file we copy this code and uh, a new text file I prefer using a notepad plus plus but you can use any other text editor for that so hello.v we copy and paste this and then we just save this mm. now we go to our dos prompt this is our dos prompt and we go to this directory c colon slash i very log okay cd slash cd slash and cd i very log and then we try to run this program we give this command i very log hello dot v and then to run it we we just say vvp a dot out so it gives out this printout learning verilog is easy with designer.com tutorial that's what we wanted to if you look at the code again hello dot v so it consists of a main module and then all the code that is between initial and 
and is run and all it does is it just displays a simple text file when you run this code using this iverlog command you can also specify uh, a separate uh, name for the output file something like hello instead of a dot out and in that case we can just write vvp hello instead of a dot out that will do the same thing so what it does is it, it sets up our system for running our very log code this is not a really we have not yet started writing very log code we have just uh, verified that we have installed very log and we are ready to experiment uh, it will be a very lot of fun when you will be learning more code but there is one thing you would like to do is uh, you want to set the path variable of your computer something like this in my computer properties and then advanced system settings and go to environment variables and on system variables here we'll look for look for variable name path and click on edit and then at the end just add this variable c colon slash i very log slash bin at the end uh, later on we will also see that we need i very log slash gtk wave dot bin slash bin also to display the waveforms so for now just add the i very log slash bin or wherever is the directory where you have installed i very log so once you have done this the advantage is I can move my hello.v from here to, to something like this uh, another directory maybe slash bin slash source and then I can run my program from there itself instead of having to okay. I, I apologize one thing that even though it looked like it hello.v run from here but if you don't give the path you will have to put these files in uh, iverylog slash bin directory because your iverylog.exe is in this directory but once you have given the path you can put this hello.v in the source file and run it from there itself so for example you can uh, go to uh, this directory cd slash bin slash src slash bin slash src and then you can do the same thing give the same commands i very log minus o hello hello dot v and then or just uh, uvp hello and that it will give out the file i hope this helps we'll continue to uh, um, present more tutorials on this thanks for taking a look